Welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about the new tool in Blender Sculpting, which is Line Project. So go ahead and open up your latest Blender and do New File General. And let's go ahead and save as, and we'll just call this Line Project or Line Project. So let's go ahead and set up Suzanne for sculpting. We'll just do some matte caps and let's do a multi-resolution cranked up to five. And you guessed it, flip on over into sculpting, control tab down, and let's use some of these new tools down here. So go ahead and scroll almost all the way to the bottom and it's called line project. And so what it's gonna do is project the geometry along the line that you draw here. So just click and drag and notice that it's going to collapse whatever is in the darker area. So when I let go, bloop, it looks like it cut it off, but it actually just jammed all the geometry onto itself. Let's go ahead and turn on the wireframe so you can kind of see what's happening here. But notice there's part of the mouth. It's all been flattened out. So I don't really know why you would ever use this um, unless you're just kind of like chopping off something very simple. But that mesh material would be very not slicer friendly. Uh, so you want to be careful when using this tool. And then also notice, depending on which way you draw the line. So if I start here, I could go up and that will make the right side collapse, see where the dark part is, or I could go down and that could make the left side of the face collapse. So if I want just the tip of the ear to collapse, I could go up this way, bloop, and there we go. So again, you're gonna get lots of nasty geometry, but that is one way you can quickly kind of collapse all of the geometry onto a certain line. So that is line project. Not really sure when or why you would use that, uh, but maybe you need it in some case in the future and you will have it. So let's go ahead and jump into the next lesson, which are about the filters. So that will be the mesh filter.